Now let's talk about the second chemical bond that is covalent bond. Co means combo or combination and valent means valence electrons. Covalent bond is the combination of valence electrons. It develops by sharing of electrons. When two atoms share their electrons, they complete their octet or duplet, lower their energy and get stability. The two atoms joined by a covalent bond may be the same or different. They may or may not have the difference of electronegativity. If the difference of electronegativity is less than 1.7, the covalent bond will be non-polar. Let's discuss the non-polar covalent bond via certain examples. Hydrogen has electronic configuration of 1s1. It has one electron in its 1s valence shell. As we know that hydrogen is always in the form of H2. The other hydrogen has same electronic configuration 1s1. It is one electron away from completing its duplet. So both hydrogen prefer to share their electron. Here it is. This dot is of this hydrogen and the cross is for this hydrogen. These are representing the electrons of both hydrogens. They are shared between two hydrogens. As one one electron is shared between these two atoms, single line will be drawn between these two hydrogen, showing that it is a single covalent bond. And it is also a non-polar covalent bond because both hydrogen have zero difference of electronegativity. So this is how covalent bond is formed. There are three types of covalent bond depending upon their number. H2 has single covalent bond. For oxygen, it is always in the form of O2. It is two electrons away from completing its octet. So both oxygens share their 2 2 electron with each other. And by doing so, they complete their octet. As 2 2 electrons are shared by both of the oxygen, so two single lines will be drawn between the symbols of two oxygen atoms, showing that it is a double covalent bond. For N2, which is three electrons away from completing its octet, three three electrons are shared by two nitrogens, which are represented by three lines. These three lines are showing the triple covalent bond. All of these covalent bonds are non-polar because they do not have any difference of electronegativity. Rather, the difference of electronegativity is equal to zero. Moreover, the atoms having difference of electronegativity less than 1.7 undergo non-polar covalent bonding. For example, H2, O2, N2, Cl2, all the halogens make non-polar covalent bonds. As these molecules are formed by two same types of atoms, so these are regarded as the molecules of elements. Moreover, the bonds formed by carbon and hydrogen has electronegativity difference less than 1.7. So it is also a non-polar covalent bond. The bonds formed by interhalogens are also the non-polar covalent bonds. Now let's talk about the polar covalent bond. Consider a molecule of HCl. Hydrogen and chlorine have large difference of electronegativity. The electrons shared between hydrogen and chlorine that are regarded as the bonding electron pair are not equally attracted by chlorine and hydrogen. Chlorine being more electronegative atom attracts the shared electron pair towards itself more, generating partial negative charge on itself and partial positive charge on hydrogen. The generation of partial positive and negative charges within a molecule is regarded as polarity and the bonds are regarded as the polar covalent bonds or polar bonds because two poles are generated in the molecule. Here comes the concept of inductive effect and dipole movement. You can check out the videos regarding inductive effect and dipole movement in the I button. Their link is also given in the description box. How much the bond is polar that is calculated via dipole movement? This is because the bond pair is not equally attracted by both bonded atoms due to high difference of electronegativity. The molecules having the polar covalent bonds are NH3, water, 
कार्बन टेट्राक्लोराइड सी एफ सी एल थ्री एड स्ट्रॉ एंड हाइड्राइड ऑफ ग्रुप फाइव ए सिक्स ए एंड सेवन ए इन दर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री दंक्शनल ग्रुप लाइक अल्कोहल्स एल्डीहाइड्स आर अल्कनल्स कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड्स एस्टर्स किटोन्स ईथर्स थायो ईथर्स नाइट्राइल्स अमाइड्स अमाइंस सेल्फोनिक एसिड्स ऑल आर पोलर they contain the polar covalent bonds this was all about the covalent bond its definition its mechanism of generation involving hybridization i have uploaded a video on it whose link is also given in the description the types of covalent bonds that are based upon the number of electrons shared by both bonding electron these are single double and triple covalent bonds the types of covalent bonds based on the electronegativity difference non polar and polar covalent bonds and you have learned the various molecules and various functional groups involving polar and non polar covalent bonds wait for the next video that is about the coordinate covalent bond the third kind of chemical bond thanks for watching